In fact, by the time we reach Sunday into Monday, we're going to be tracking our next round of Arctic air. So, oh, we're in the grips of it now, and we've got another round in the seven-day forecast. This is what we woke up to this morning from our Weatherbug Network reporting sites. Brown County Schools, two below zero in Nashville. Sharpsville, minus nine, minus ten, Bunker Hill, and Peru High School, eight degrees below zero. Good thing the kids were home today. It still feels like below zero. It feels like seven below in Indianapolis. That's the current wind chill. Feels like 12 below zero in Kokomo, minus 11 in Logansport. Feels like three below in Shelbyville. Now, actual air temperatures are in the range of single digits to around 10 across the southern part of our viewing area. It is going to be dangerously cold, although with increasing clouds, we're not forecasting as many places below zero tonight night and tomorrow morning. It's 7 right now in Indianapolis. Winds are north-northwest at 9 with increasing clouds. 11, that's it. That was our high this afternoon, and we did drop below zero. It was minus 3 for the official low in Indianapolis this morning. With clouds on the move into central Indiana, it won't be quite that cold tomorrow morning. Still forecasting the single digits overnight with those below zero wind chills. Now at 9 a.m. tomorrow, 10 degrees. By 1 p.m., 18. So we will be a few degrees higher higher than what we had today, most of us make it, it into the upper teens and low 20s. We will be tracking the chance for some snow. No snow right now, but clouds are already starting to move in. We're tracking a disturbance in the atmosphere that's producing some snow showers across the middle part of the country. This will start to move our way, bringing snow chances to Iowa, northern Illinois overnight. For us, we get our chance for some snow during the day tomorrow. I think Future Track 13 underdoing it just a little bit. This isn't going to be a heavy widespread snow event, but I do think we get some snow showers and a few bursts of snow that will be enough to coat the ground up to an inch tomorrow afternoon, tomorrow evening, and just enough for a few slick roads. So as you make your plans for Thursday, a few snow showers or snow squalls reduce visibility an inch or less in the forecast tomorrow, but watch for a few slick roads. We do get a better chance for some snow. Friday night into Saturday, the next round will arrive late in the day Friday. Right now, the potential for a widespread one to three inch snowfall for central Indiana will keep you posted on the timing and the totals as that weather system gets a little closer to us late in the day on Friday. A few snow showers will start tomorrow in the single digits, high 24, 27 on Friday. Snow arrives Friday night and it will stick around through probably midday Saturday. And at this point, at least a couple of inches in the forecast will keep you posted on uh, any changes. 16 for a high on Saturday will be in the teens. Sunday into Monday into Tuesday. And with this next round of Arctic air, we'll get another couple mornings below zero in the seven-day forecast. All right.